Hi, here I will show a bit the edge mask options. So here I have a piece of geometry, just looking at a bit the topology. So here is the mask in cycles and here is it in EV. Some sliders, edge detect methods are only available in cycles, two of them, the bevel and the pointiness. But the first one, the edge how based uh, works also in EV and the paint edge, the vertex colors uh, too works as well in EV. So here, the first one that I can turn on like this is basically using the inverse of the ambient occlusion. So it's finding the edge uh, based on the distance, the second slider. So that's in meters. So basically at the value of one that you can type here, you will have a one meter edge. So here the square is one meter in Blender. Here my object will deserve something like, uh, like five, six centimeters like this. I could already add some noise. By default, I have a procedural noise that looks like this, but I can also simply add a scratch from the noise library and that will look more realistic. So the second method is the bevel. That depends, uh, like the pointiness, on the topology. So here, by default, the, the node will look like this, but you can extend the edge mask to, to read a bit the, the tips. The bevel is uh, sensible to the displacement. If you have a lot of subdivision and displacement, uh, all the tiny uh, cracks and bumps will react uh, on the, the bevel ra radius. And the pointiness will also depend a lot uh, on your topology. Basically, if you have a very low poly object, it will create a lot of pointiness directly that spreads on the first face it finds. So if you have only one face, it will uh, spread on that. But if you have a, a bit of subdivision, it will spread slower, basically on, on the first uh, few faces. Here we are looking at just the pointiness, for example. You can even remove the noise if you want to see the pointiness alone without the noise. And we have a contrast parameter for the pointiness, so we can basically avoid it spreading too much and keep something uh, just on the edges. And you can see that in EV, we don't have anything for the pointiness and the bevel. So I'm going to add a little bit of each. And then I can show the paint edge. Basically, you can simply paint some vertex colors that uh, we can see here in Workbench, for example. You can also Control shift click on the, the vertex color node. That's a normal node in Blender if you search. If you search color attribute, you can add uh, this vertex color node that, that's, uh, that's also in the all Smartify nodes. Uh, here that you can add it to your quick favorites. If you click add search color attribute, you can uh, add it directly from the search or or add it to your quick favorites here in the uh, input color attribute. Right click add to quick favorites. So here on the vertex color, I've painted uh, some black and white. Uh, basically, if you paint gray, 0 0.5, it will leave the three first uh, edge mask work as they should. Black will block them and white will add some edge. So if you slide the paint edge, you make the, the vertex color contribute to the, the edge mask. So here painting in gray, meaning the edge here will simply leave the the smart edge happen and if i paint in black it will block it if i don't want uh, some edge wear for example in the cracks i can paint in black and if i want to force the the edge detect i, I can paint in white or just in a, in a light gray you can also paint this automatically if you enter edit mode you deselect everything when you go select, select sharp edges, you can add this to your quick favorite also. But select sharp edges will allow you to basically select 
anything you will want to have uh, some edge wear on, you can adjust this angular parameter to select more or less hard edges. And then you can go back to the vertex pen mode. On the top bar, you can activate the selection mode in vertex. And then it means that all this white dot is where you can paint, while the rest uh, won't be affected. So you can either paint directly uh, here on, on this selection or go paint set vertex colors that's basically a paint bucket option it will fill uh, your current color white onto all these selections so that's um, a way to do some automatic uh, edge mask while still being able to control by hand uh, where you want some or, or not <laughs> so that way i can and in real time where I want to have uh, edge wear or not. And I can bring back the noise. And paint in gray if I want to have the automatic edges. So then you can have a global control with the brightness and contrast. And automatically remove the, the edge wear in the, the cavities with the less edge wear in ambient occlusion. And control the brightness and contrast of the noise. And then here it's set up with the edge verify node, so text this uh, texture set, and it uses this edge mask to create this uh, bump and color that you can uh, tweak to whatever. And here it's just plugged into uh, the smart shader. So yeah, this clarifies a bit uh, how to use the edge mask. And in the coming version, 1.04, you will have also the light masks. That's more for EV and basically it just uses the ambient occlusion and the, the paint edge. So it's a bit faster to, uh, to use for EV or cycle, but if you want a bit less control and a bit more efficiency. But if you have special use case, the, the full edge mask uh, is more flexible. So I hope that helped. Uh, thanks.